Hey everybody, good morning, it is Rich. Now this video is going to be used for a couple purposes. First of all, this will be used for the Daily Energize Wednesday video. I'm also going to post this on my blog, so maybe you're watching it on the blog. And the reason I'm doing it in both places is I really feel I'm going to share some very important information and I want as many people as possible to see it. So if you're in my Daily Energize, uh, our theme this week is the word boldness. So for those of you watching on the blog or maybe on Facebook also, we're talking about boldness. And um, if you've been following my work here for the last few months, I've been talking a lot about how I feel that there is a major flaw in the world of personal development that you and I are in. And what I've been talking about, how that main major flaw is that nobody, in my opinion, is really teaching emotional self-awareness. We're always hearing about mind, body, and soul, mastering your mind, strengthening your body, nourishing your soul. But in my opinion, no one is really talking about how to heal emotionally from the wounds of our past. And I think this is really the main thing that is holding people back in their lives. I want to talk about another part of that today and it really ties into emotional self-awareness and that is this notion that in life we want to just go with the flow and we want to kind of just kind of go downstream in life and for a long time quite honestly I believe that that was the way to go but the more I think about it I don't really agree in fact what I believe and it ties into this notion of boldness is that if you really want what you want in your life first of all you need to be bold it's not just going to come hit you in the head. It's not just going to come to you if you just kind of go with the flow. You got to be bold and you got to go for what you want in life. The other reason I believe this is true is if you look at the world today, most people don't have what they want. Most people are unhappy, they're unhealthy, they're financially in trouble. So to me, this whole just go with the flow, it ain't working. I believe we need to paddle and we need to paddle upstream. If you want what you want in life, you got to be bold and you got to go for it. In fact, let's look at what I believe the most important areas of your life are. Okay? To me, you got four most important areas of your life, and we'll kind of test my little theory here. So, the number one most important thing is your overall wellness. And when I say your wellness, I'm talking about your physical health and also your emotional wellness. If you want to be physically healthy, is it going to come by sitting on the couch, drinking beer, eating chocolate, and watching TV? No, you got to be bold and you got to go for it. And to, you know, eat the way that, and what we use me as a comparison. People think that I'm extreme. I'm a very strict vegetarian, basically vegan. I work out at least once, most days I work out twice a day. It's not easy, but it's my commitment to my health. That requires some boldness, that requires some paddling upstream, not just going with the flow. If I wanted to just go with the flow and take it easy, I couldn't be as healthy as I want to be. Emotional self-awareness is a whole other conversation. It is not an easy thing to achieve. It's much easier to do what most people do, and that is to numb themselves with food and alcohol and drugs and relationships and drama and reality TV and all these things that we do to numb ourselves from the truth of our lives. It requires boldness to become emotionally whole. Let's look at the second area of your life that I feel is most important, and that is your spiritual life, okay? This is probably the best analogy. If you want God, if you want the divine, if you want to really know your higher self, I don't care what name you give it, your soul, your spirit, your essence, we can all agree that there is some power, some energy greater than ourselves that we want to connect to, right? If you want that, it's not going to come hit you in the head. Okay, if you want that deep, meaningful spiritual connection, you gotta want it, you gotta be bold, you gotta go for it, and again, you gotta kinda paddle upstream, not kinda, you gotta go for it, no doubt. Third important area of your life is your money. Okay, look at the world today. Financially, people are struggling. If you want financial security, are you going to just kick back and just, or maybe, you know, I'm kind of changing my tune a little bit. You might get from what I'm saying here on the whole law of attraction thing, and I used to be a huge believer in it, and I still believe in most of it, but the whole idea that you can just intend to have, you know, millions of dollars and it's going to come to you, doesn't work that way, does it? Okay, look around you. So your money, you got to be bold if you want to create financial freedom. And then the fourth most important area of life, let's call it relationships. And what I mean here is your most intimate relationships, your family relationships, your friendships, things like that. 
Is there some work involved in having great relationships? Do you need to know a lot? Do you need to really learn to communicate at a high level to have great relationships? You better believe it. So, I think you get my point. You got to be bold in life to have what you want. Uh, this whole notion of paddling downstream, kind of going with the flow, I'm really questioning that. And I really would love to know what you think. So if you're watching on my blog, leave a comment. If you are on the Daily Energize, go to the Facebook page. Let's get a conversation going. I'm sure some people are going to completely disagree with what I'm saying here today. And I hope that you do because I really want to start an intelligent dialogue with the intention that people will learn from it. You'll get some insights and things that you can implement that will help change your life for the better. So let's be bold. Let's get into a conversation about this. Have a great day. Thank you as always. Bye-bye.